Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Today, as you can tell by the title, it's a match preview for the Premier League games in week 12. For you guys that are not familiar with it, um, basically I'll go through all the Premier League games that's going to be played this weekend. Um, and I'll tell you a bit of facts that you may or may not know. Um, so I just thought it would be something interesting for me to do. Um, also, if you haven't seen my Premier League predictions video for this week, it will come up after the video. Uh, there should be a straight click, so just click on the video and it uh, come up. But anyway guys, let's get on with this. Um, guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So Cardiff vs Bright is first up as you can tell. Um, in the in the previous meetings in the last five games in fact three of them have ended in draws um now as i said if you saw my premier league prediction video you, you will know what i'm expecting from this game if both teams turn up uh if not then you obviously know what i'm expecting anyway um cardiff losing to leicester this previous weekend just gone brighton losing to everton so I think that's going to be a very interesting game indeed. The next game is Huddersfield versus West Ham. Last time Huddersfield beat West Ham was in 1997 in a cup game and the league it was 1972. So you know got quite a big gap there. Um, just obviously talk about the league 1972 uh, over, over 20 years now. Um, Huddersfield only in the best performance so I think that's going to be another interesting game um, but you know stuff happens in football so I'll, as I said I think it will be a really interesting game just be something good to see um, from a normal fan's point of view um, the next game is Leicester versus Burnley Burnley have not won a game at Leicester since 2007 2007, over 10 years now, Burnley not in the best performance, but uh, it's going to be interesting to see because of what's happened at Leicester, uh, not the weekend, just gone weekend before, um, you know, it's going to take a bit of time, um, as I said, if you watch my Premier League predictions videos, then you know what I'm expecting, but I'm not going to give it away in this video, I'm just giving you a bit of facts about the fixtures coming up. Um, the next one is Newcastle versus Bournemouth. Newcastle have not beaten Bournemouth at home since uh, 1990. Um, 1990, sorry, promise about that. Um, now over a decade gone, ten years. Um, yeah, again, Newcastle not in the best performance, but I did beat Watford this previous week. Had just gone. Um, you know, it's going to be one of them things. Um, as I said, I don't want to give too much away because obviously if you want to know what I'm thinking about the scores, what I think the score's going to be, you'll have to watch my Premier League prediction video. Um, and as I said in the start of this video, it will come up at the end. Um, but 1990, could you cross or maybe do the upset this time round? Um, the next one is Southampton versus Watford. Last time Southampton won at home against Watford was in 2016 um, not a lot between then and now um, Southampton are very low in confidence um, you know they're not the best team uh, to go and play for on the Southampton point of view now but as I said everyone's got to play everyone so it's going to be quite an interesting game uh, to do uh, the next one is Palace versus Spurs. Last time Palace won at home against Tottenham was in 2015. 2015, yet again, not a long time um, between then and now. Um, you know, Spurs going through, uh, I wouldn't say a difficult spell, I won't even say a difficult anything really. It's just about our new ground, all the fans getting a bit patient now, I just want it done, out of the way. Um, you know, they had to play a dirty pitch against Man City, um, at Wembley. And that's obviously 
Tottenham's fault. Um, you know, Tottenham, funny enough, thought I have a stadium over the year. Um, now, if you met me back then to now, I was still saying the thing, I was going, there's no way. To get a whole stadium done within a year is basically having an incredible Hulk work on it. And uh, obviously, you can't have that. So, um, But as I said, playing all day at Pitch Gate City, because of Tottenham's fault, they've had to schedule NFL games at Wembley at the same time as Tottenham is supposed to be playing their home games. Um, you know, it's one of them things, unfortunately. I don't think Tottenham should have booked anything until their stadium was ready, completed, safe to safety, it's all done. That way, it'd just be football on possibly at Wembley, and then we could suspend the um, NFL games for coming to the UK. Um, but yet again, you know, maybe it's Tottenham's fault again for booking a one year lease, not a two years, which I would have done. Um, you know, with this uh, one year lease, uh, Wembley was available to book. So, you know, I, yeah, again, I'll put on, I'll put on Tottenham's responsibilities while we're playing on the pitch like that. Uh, the next one is Liverpool versus Fulham. Liverpool have won four out of the last five games against Fulham. So four out of the last five. Um, you know, Fulham come up from the table, um, but it's going to be one of them games, I think. Um, to be honest, I think Tottenham, uh, Liverpool um, are going to be all over the Fulham at Anfield. Um, you know, I, I was lucky to go out there, took a 1 0 defeat, I'm happy with that all day long. But Fulham's a different cattle of fish. Um, but I'm expecting, uh, you know, quite a good, good win for Liverpool. But as I said, I ain't going to re reveal the results on this one. It'll be on my Premier League prediction videos, which will come up on the end of the video. Um, the next one is Chelsea versus Everton. Last time Everton won at Chelsea was in 1994. The year I was born, surprisingly enough. Um, there you go, roughly work out how old I am. Um, you know, the year I was born... Um, Yeah, yeah, I'll start bringing into football really. Um, you know, I've got two lucky. I've got two great parents. Um, my dad loved loved the football. And that's how I've grown up. I've learned. That's why I like working on the topic on here. Um, you know, it's going to be ninety four was quite a good year um, to come into the world. I personally think you might disagree. Um, you know, there's no uh, technology like there is now. It was just books, barely any television, no Sky. It was Sky Sports, but weren't that uh, like it is now. Um, you know, we used to have to play on the streets to entertain ourselves. You know, as I said, it's a beautiful time to come into the world. But you might disagree with that. Um, next one is Arsenal versus Wolves. Last time Wolves won against Arsenal was in 1979, and Arsenal have won four out of the last five games. So 1979, um, 15 years before I was born, uh, but uh, 1979. That's going back quite far. Uh, I ain't got nothing to put on the subject, um, so. On to the next one, and it is the game of the weekend, and everyone is probably dreaming to watch it. No matter how you're going to watch it, I think it's going to be an epic game. Man City versus Man United. Man City have not beaten Man U at home in the last three games. Last one was at home. At home was in 2014. Four years gone. A lot of stuff has changed. Um, you know, on that bit. Statistics ain't looking that great, but um, you know, as I said, I don't really give too much away. But um, you know, as I said, it's gonna be an interesting game. Anyway, guys, I've got to bring this video to an end. Sorry if I rambled on a bit. 
Um, but guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.